Welcome. In front of me is a Google Pixel 5a and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this device. Now you can see that the phone I have in front of me does have a screen lock as a verification method, a pattern to be more precise. And I can either use that or obviously the Google account to unlock it. But assuming I don't know either of those, I will show you how we can bypass this. So uh, we're going to first get through the setup till you get to this page right here at which point you will connect to network so obviously connect to your network i did connect to mine and from there we're gonna select add new network we're gonna just type in a random letters and the uh, name right here we're gonna then select that we're gonna select copy this will bring up a share option right here so we want to tap on it and you want to then select in this share we're gonna maybe just quickly check we're going to select Gmail and in here, let's gonna skip that, in here you're going to select add a new email address and important part, you will only choose either the Outlook, Hotmail or Live or the Yahoo uh, options. So those are the only two that you can. If you don't have an account for this, do create one and from there you can progress further. Uh, one thing to keep in mind for the Microsoft one, which is the Outlook Hotmail Live, uh, you actually can still use a Google account if you already like assigned it uh, through Microsoft. Uh, but when filling up the info, you will need to add at google.com. So I'll be doing that on my end right here. So There we go. Now moving on to the next page, I'll now put in my password for this account. There we go. And as you can see, I am now signed in. That's my address that I have signed in with. Obviously for you it will be different. Uh, let's see, um, stay signed in, sure. next next take me to gmail and in here we now want to select three dots help and feedback then in search you want to type in mo and this will bring up the op suggested option write in morse code and in here we're gonna click on the video then you're gonna click on the text of the video, the name of it, pause it, swipe down on it, select your account icon, settings, about, Google privacy policy, this takes us to Gmail, as you can obviously see, and in here we're gonna select no thanks, no thanks, and right at the top you want to now navigate to hard reset.info slash bypass. Uh, now I'm going to type it in myself and if you need a moment to copy it once you see it, do pause the video. So now would be the time to pause. From here, scroll down to the last option and go screen lock set mini, click on it. And in the guide, it's telling me to set up a pattern. Uh, so I actually forgot to do this at the beginning. I did want to showcase what pattern I'll be using uh, for, for this method. So I guess now at this point, you just have to take my word for it that I'm using a different one than the one that would unlock it. Um, I will be honest I know what the unlock pattern right now is so it's basically something like this uh, so I'll set basically a mirrored version of this so it's gonna be like this now I'm not even entirely sure if I need to set up a pattern or if it cannot be something else I might actually try it out I just just to check it out uh, but like I said in the guide it's telling to set up a pattern 
so I do recommend doing so. I'll choose a pen just to just I guess completely change it up and see if it actually will function. So right now we're gonna choose our screen lock rate. Anyone I just keep on repeating it. So for me I'm setting it up to be one, two, three, four. Obviously, if you're using a pattern, uh, then set it up whatever you want. As you can see, it closes it up, nothing happens, so we're gonna do it again. Same thing. Confirm. App stops working, that's fine. We're gonna go back. We're gonna click on the uh, screen lock set menu again and again. We're gonna keep on repeating it. Nothing again. Nothing again. Nothing. There we go. So as you can see, it now took us to the next page. So I keep your device unlocked while it's on you. We can skip this. And I think we're basically set. I'm not exactly sure if I shouldn't be selecting yes, I'm in. Yep, I think that's exactly what I'm supposed to select. So. Uh, Select, oh, yes, I am in. Got it, okay. So that's what we're supposed to do. So select, yes, I'm in. If you basically chose the same thing as I did, I can then tap to select again your screen lock and it should take you straight back to this page. So from here, uh, you'll again have this white page once you uh, got the yes, I'm in kind of page. Uh, stay here for about 20 seconds, at which point uh, you will then just go back to the beginning of the setup and now we're gonna go through the setup what you see should see right now is the phone telling us to verify our pin uh, if you remember we had a pattern not a pin and what happened is when you set up a screen lock the phone for some reason uh, looks like it can only keep one screen lock at a time so if you had a pattern it will override it with a pin uh, and obviously if you had a pattern and you set a, selected a new one it again overrides the old one and the device gets confused and, and it's now telling us to verify the one that we have set up ourselves uh, completely overriding the old one that was uh, basically a method of protecting this device not anymore as you can see so right now i'm just going to put in one two three four boom and that unlocks it so uh, also to clarify um like i said in the guide it told us to use a pattern but it doesn't matter we can also use pin or password if you choose to you just need to keep on repeating it till you set it up and it will override it, the old one no matter what the old passcode was as well so from here i'm gonna skip signing in and you do want to do the same thing just Finish up the setup as quick as you can. We do need to confirm our, our pin once more. It's ours, so not a big deal. And do it later, skip anyway. And as you can see, we now have access to our home screen. Now, technically the device is unlocked, though I would still recommend doing one last uh, me well, measure to make sure that it is fully unlocked. And that would be navigate into your settings. From here, you're gonna scroll all the way down to system. Then you're gonna select reset options, erase all data, and then erase all data. Confirm your screen lock that you have set up and select erase all data once more. So this will obviously perform a factory reset of your phone, uh, bringing you back to the setup screen of it. But at that point, the device will be fully unlocked. This is a last thing that I recommend doing as uh, I am uncertain. I'm certain if the previous screen locks and Google accounts are fully removed when we did the verification of a pin. It could be that the device just kind of like shows us in the UI that, you know, we can verify it, but technically we just skipped through it. So it could be that these two methods are still present on the device. I haven't actually tested it out uh, to know for certain, but 
obviously you don't have anything on the device right now just yet and doing a erase all data right now will only take like two three three more minutes to finish up and at least you will have that certainty that the device at that point is fully unlocked so that is the last thing that i recommend doing and i'm not going to go through it myself right here uh, or at least right now just because i don't want to waste your time anymore uh, this is a fully automated process once you press on that button and everything is done on its own once it's finished which you don't need to do anything extra once it's finished you're back in the setup and from there you can go through it however you like now with this being said if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.